Alright, so you're borrowing a legacy deck from me, and I don't know what it is, which is good because you don't know what I'm playing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, we'll both go in in the dark. I have a, a selection for what it could be. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, now to see who goes first, let me get my ca my camera, my phone. It is a camera too. That is how that works nowadays. But I will get my phone off the charger, my life counter off the charger, and reset that life total. <laughs> Snapcaster beats in vintage, man. Snapcaster beats in vintage. <laughs> All right, let's see. Come on, come on. Ah, once again it betrays me. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, life counter. All right. What do you say? Hmm. I am gonna Okay. I am curious as, as to how this one's going to go, because, so this is my selection for these, and if you don't know what I'm doing, I apologize, here, I'll, I'll tell you what, this is what I'll do, I will say, pause in 1080p, okay, and do it again, okay, now do it again. Okay. There we go. I have a sneaking suspicion, however, that nobody needs to pause in 1080p for this card. I think we all know what that card does now. Alright. Force of habit. Sorry. But I think we're going to keep, yes. It could go a little bit poorly, I'll say. Yeah, I'll keep this. All right. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. All right, you're up. Thank you, Tim. Oh. Good. Okay. Hmm. What deck do I have in there that has Ancient Tim? It's perhaps a little bit bad that even I can't remember. We're going to play an Ancient Spring and pass the turn. I've narrowed it down to three. I have it down to three. <laughs> there are too many Ancient Tomb decks, apparently. Flood of Strength. Okay, that gives it. That gives it. Okay, go for it. Well, mm. so obviously not Eldrazi Stompy. Okay. Obviously. And it's not... Um, yeah. Soldiers, and so instead it is Sneak and Show. Yeah. So those are the the three Ancient Tomb decks I think I think that I'm running nowadays. Not that all of them are in the Gauntlet. The Gauntlet is now being split between Legacy and Modern. All right. Preordain. Um, that's okay. Preordain is fine. All right. Your dang is okay. What I'm about to play is not. <laughs> Draw. Pass turn. Okay. All right. Well. This is awkward. So the fact that this is in my hand actually changes things quite a, a bit, because normally what I'd do is I would easily play this this turn. Easily. But if I do that, then I don't get to go off again. So, if I go off now, I don't get to go off next turn. That said, you know what he didn't play? Lotus Petal. He did not play Lotus Petal in a deck that honestly doesn't have that many lands. It wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world if I tried for next turn. Alright. So, I've convinced myself pretty thoroughly here. We're going to play an Archaeological Dig. 
-hmm. And we're going to activate both. This one is going to make white, black, and this one will make blue. In the process of doing so, I have to sacrifice both of them. Both of them. Both. I will cast an Ardent Plea. Ardent Plea has Cascade. It's an enchantment with just Exalted, but it also has Cascade. So, we will Cascade. Would, it, would you like to let the Cascade trigger resolve? Yes. Okay. Hey, let's turn it around. Shardless Agent. Restore Balance. Restore Balance. Does that resolve? Yes. Okay. Alright, so Restore Balance first looks to see how many lands we have. I have none, you have two. Therefore, you must sacrifice two lands. Sacrifice until we have the fewest. Then, it looks at the number of creatures we have. We have none for both of us, so we're fine. And then, I have six cards in hand. How many do you have in your hand? Five. Okay, so I must, sac I must discard a card. I will discard Restore Balance. And then, Restore Balance will resolve. Charlotte's Agent will be shuffled on the bottom of my deck. Make sure it goes in the right way. It does. And then I have an Ardent Plea in play. And then I will pass the turn. Now normally, if I just simply discarded Restore Balance, that wouldn't say that much. But the fact that I talked to the camera probably gives you a little more information. Ancient Tomb? Yes. Lotus Petal? Ah, there's the petal. Okay, well, rip me. Rest in peace, me. Ancient sp uh, Spring? I'm just going to call them by their shard. Okay. Esper, pass turn. Now, you know how these lands work, right? They're going to come in tapped. They're going to tap to make one color. Mm -hmm. Or if I tap and sacrifice them, they make the allies of that color. So when I say Esper, I mean blue is allied by white and black, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So there we go. It may be a little easier if I just refer to them as such. Flooded Shrine. All right. I'll fetch. Very good. Get a Valk. Valk is fine. Wait a minute, didn't you just play a land this turn? You played the Ancient Tomb, right? Did I? I think so. Could, yeah, you had to have, because I, I just wiped the board of all its lands this turn. Or last turn, rather, I should say. On my last turn. Hell? No, yeah. I, I drew that one just now. I did just pass, that's right. Okay, you're fine, you're fine. I'm just confuzzling myself. You're right, you're right. So it was pass, Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, pass back to me, Ancient Spring, pass, mm -hmm. Volcanic Island. Okay, so I, I apologize. No, you're good. Weird deck. It's a weird deck. And I think what was also throwing me off is that I wasn't anticipating you having this many lands. Yeah. I'll crack for a blue. Uh oh. Oh no. I knew what this means. This is a sneak attack. Um. Well, okay. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Uh, Pester. I'm... The technical term is screwed. I am screwed. Well... I'll play Bant. <laughs> Pester. Technical term. The technical term. Activation negative. Yep. Emrakul. Emrakul is good. Combat. Yep. Fifteen. Sack three. All right. I'll take fifteen. Ooh. <laughs> Move my end step. Yes. Shuffle. Whee! Can you just show me another Emrakul in your hand, please? I know. Ah! Can you show me a Grizzlebrand in your hand? Ah! I have seen Sneak and Show players lose from this point. Mm. If they don't have either another Emrakul or a Grizzlebrand, and they just can't draw into one. However, the fact that I just said that means I jinxed it. <laughs> so, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Alright. Come on, deck. 
Ancient Spring, Esper for the 45th time. <laughs> Pass turn. The third. The third time. Okay, okay, we're getting there. No, we're not. Pass turn. Ponder. Oh, no, you don't. City of Traitors. Okay. Do it. Oh, no, you don't. Pass turn. Crystal Vein makes one or makes two if I sack it. Okay. So it's a really bad ancient tomb. It's City of Traders with a little bit of a choice. Jace. We got the main board Jace. Yep, resolves. Alright, I'm going to brainstorm. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. I don't. Okay, for what it's worth, I would not have done that this turn. The reason being, even if you brainstorm into a big creature, you can't sneak attack it because you don't have red mana, unless you also have Lotus Petal. Um, I would have fate sealed here to make it where I cannot win. Okay. But that's just me, sorry. Go for it. Naya, pass turn. Show and tell. Yes. I have my. I it resolves. I have my card to pick from show and tell. Damn it! It was supposed to be a bluff. Oh no! Yeah, I don't have anything. I was hoping I'd waste it. I have a blood braid elf <laughs> that I could not otherwise cast. You may want to do something to keep it from killing Jace next turn. Yeah, I'll niggle. Okay. Normally that would be really bad against Bloodbraid, but I don't have the mana to recast it, so it's okay. Good. I can either choose green or red. I don't have both. That said, I just grew, drew into Grixis, so pass turn, Jace at two. And just so we don't lose track. You gonna brainstorm? Yes. When you already have sneak attack, I'm not sure that it's good to bluff anymore because this is not a spell, it's an, it's an ability. Mm -hmm. And so you no longer have to resolve a single spell to win the game from here on. Especially with Jace out. Activate. Oh no. Yeah, I lose. Good game. I'm gonna sack everything in response. <laughs> Uh, yep, that's the game. All right. I'm imposing on myself a speed magic rule here. I would like to be on the play. Huh? I will... Ooh, I will keep, but... Wow. Not again. Okay, this is a thing, I guess. This is what my life has come to. All right. I would like to go... Esper, pass turn. Ancient Tomb. Oh no. Lotus Petal. Okay. Oh no. Correct for blue. Why would you do this to me? Okay. Show and tell. Show and tell. I have my... Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, no, don't you do that, Jay. Don't you dare do that. Oh my goodness, I almost just conceded the game there. That would be bad. I probably still lose, but I need to at least not play this horribly. Okay, I have my card. Alright, Grizzlebrand versus Irrigation Ditch. Faster. I still lose, but it's okay. No! That is exactly not the top deck you want. Well, I actually just lost to myself because I drew both Restore Balances. Mm. Oh, okay, so normally the play here is Shardless Agent, Cascade Trigger, do you have a Force of Will? Mm -hmm. And even if you don't, you can draw 14 off Grizzlebrand, so you're going to have a Force of Will. But on the off chance you somehow manage to not, Restore Balance can deal with your one creature, and then also your one land. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I lose anyway, in all likelihood. But the fact that I drew both Restore Balances means that it was over anyway. I could mm -hmm. not 
cascade into anything at this point. So, good games! <laughs> Oops. When I said speed magic, that's not <laughs> quite what I had in mind. Okay, so, for cards to side in, you actually never got to see, this isn't a cyborg, this is a main board card, but you never got to see Chancellor of the NX. And that's a, a card that I think really ought to be played in more of these Cascade Balance decks. I say that as if there are that many. Alright, so, Misdirection X3, because it actually does something. You can counter your counter spells. Taking out Captured Sunlight, which lets me gain 4 life, which does actual nothing against you. Not really. So this seems like an easy switch. It adds more blue cards for Force of Will. It is something I can bring in against your own Force of Wills, mm -hmm. or other counter spells you might have. So it makes, I think, too much sense. That said, it didn't exactly work out for me here. Captured Sunlight is probably supposed to be a violent outburst anyway. Violent Outburst is an instant, and it would give me an instant speed way to deal with creatures in combat, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also 3 mana instead of 4 mana, it's red mana instead of white mana, and so that can help me with my land base. Um, yeah, I, I think that's probably much better. It gives me a much easier turn to restore balance, but this is what I have for burn, because otherwise it's not a great burn match, and Misdirection needed to come in. Woo!